on guys, this is the one man army, Mr. Easy for life, and welcome to a review of this week's epic boss in Knights and Dragons. This week we have the Vermax. The Vermax, he is the next epic boss uh, in the part of the creepy crawlers features or whatever. So if we go to, whoops, let me just exit out of that real quick. I had to make him appear for you guys. Uh, if we go to the news, as you, as you can see, he's right here, right here. He's next to the uh, the Firewing Wasp, and he is a water type, or a water type, what is this, Pokemon? <laughs> Uh, he's a water-based boss, and as you can see, it uh, looks like our next week's boss is going to be some type of spider. Uh, another hint that the, the spider might be a spirit is that, as you can see over here, the uh, his armor is uh, purplish, so it's going to give us an indication that it might be spirit next week. Uh, but as of right now, this week, we are focusing on the Vermex. He is, I think he's supposed to be some type of centipede. Uh, yeah, he is supposed to be a type of centipede, I believe. And I believe his droppings are called uh, centipede legs or something like that. And I don't know about you guys, but this guy kind of looks like the, uh, the fire drake. I don't know if you guys remember the fire Drake from like a month or two ago uh, I, I don't know just because like he's like a blue version of the fire Drake or something like that I don't know I could be tripping here but he kind of looks like that to me uh, j maybe just because he's got like the uh, the, the lighter ish color here and then the darkish blue over here and the fire wing or not the fire wing but the fire Drake was like uh, uh, like an orange and whitish or something like that uh, so that so yeah so anyway so this is what he's all about this is called the like I said this is the Vermax uh, as of right now I have five days left to get the uh, these uh, the Vermax plate mail armor this is the stats the attack is 1364 the defense is 1571 and of course as always if you need help we can get the Vermax nemesis which gives you extra three times damage to the Vermax uh, which is the, like I said this is the ne nemesis I believe it's another earth based armor and of course, in, in order to get it, you have to get lucky in the chance chest. If we come over here, uh, maybe for 20 gems or 11 gems for or 11 chests for 200. Let's see if we can try and get lucky this time. I don't know if we're gonna get it, but we'll see what happens. We get uh, another super rare. So this is the monk's veil maze. Okay, so maybe not next this week, but maybe next week we can try and get it again. Uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, there you go. Here we go with the victory rewards. I've already beaten him about 10 times uh, in one day. Of course, uh, of course, if you beat him one time, you get the seven centipede legs, uh, five thousand gold, and five epic energies. Three times, you get uh, four wind armors, and then you get three silver keys. Uh, six times, you get twelve more leggings and uh, five uh, epic energies, and four more of those uh, the the wind armors or whatever. You beat him ten times, you get seven thousand five hundred gold and uh, three one star armors. Coming over here to 15, of course you're going to have 15 more leggings uh, with the addition of leggings that you already beat them 15 times and uh, you get the craftable armor which is the Vermax plate mail and of course as usual this is the rest of the, uh, the stuff that you get if you continue on your journey of getting up the uh, on the damage leaderboard and the, the awards you get uh, stuff like that, you know, usual stuff that you get with every single week of the uh, epic bosses uh, but yeah, but this is here, this is me on the damage leaderboard, not too far into it which then again I don't really care for it, the, uh, the leaderboards, I'm just to it for the uh, the armor and the rewards it, they give you uh, so that's pretty cool uh, but yeah so as usual you need about 50 collectibles to craft like I said I beat them a couple times so I need 20 more collectibles uh, to craft the Vermax plate mail and uh, stuff like that of course with usual with every single uh, a boss that they uh, every single boss time every single time that you beat the boss he gets higher in attack and defense as of level 11 this is what he's at right now for me with 7420 HP and uh, as you can see over here you get about two hours to fight him uh, let's see here um, I think that's uh, pretty much about it uh, the uh, like I said this is, a, this is with every epic boss it's a, of course the legendary armor uh, the Vermex plate mail I kind of like the Vermex plate mail it kind of reminds me of a like a Shogun uh, Shogun Samurai-ish armor around here. You can see like the uh, the armor are stacked up in plates, kind of like with the Bushido Shogun armors or Samurai armors are like. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. The color scheme is really awesome. Blue and uh, blue and teal or aqua, whatever. It's really cool. And uh, yeah, so uh, the Vermax, of course, is from March 26 to April 2. Uh, let's see his. Uh, let's see. He is a uh, wind and water based type of element this week. So last week we got a wind and fire. This week we are getting the wind and uh, water. And next week, as we saw on the the news, the news bulletin, it might be another wind and spirit or some type of wind and earth. I don't even know. Either way, it's it's a big indication that it's going to be a spirit armor. Uh, if we fight him. And we look on the elemental advantages. So let's see here. So he is a uh, wind and water. So as we can come over here, what can beat water? So air. Okay, so air can beat water, right? But he is also a water. Uh, let's see. So if you have air, if you have an air-based knight, you can go ahead and get 50 
uh, 50 plus uh, attack damage usually when you have one of the elements that he's weak against. And uh, of course what beats air is earth. So earth beats air, so that's his other element of course, and that's another extra 50 uh, 50 percentage or more attack damage uh, when you have two elements that he's weak against. But unfortunately, so let's see here. If you, let's see, so basically, uh, so basically air beats water, right? But he's also an air based, uh, air based, uh, what's it called? Air based uh, uh, boss, right? So I'm thinking here, so maybe, I think it might balance out here. Because if you have air and he's also air, I mean, it's not really much, it's not really much damage you're getting. But of course, he, of course, it's still going to weaken him on his uh, water side. So I think, I don't know, I honestly think it's going to balance out either way. Uh, just because of the fact that air, you can't really use air to beat air, if that makes any sense. But either way, you, there is still a possibility. Of course, you can beat this guy. Of course, with the Nemesis armor, it adds three times the more damage. So basically, uh, what we got here is if you basically have a a knight that is a wind and earth based armor or earth based uh, knight or whatever on your commander or your wind knight or your earth knight, uh, you basically have the full advantage of trying to uh, you know defeat him as much as possible. You're gonna get a lot more critical hits and more of course more attack damage and uh, more defense on when he tries to attack you. So like I said, uh, wind and earth based armors. Go ahead and get pick up your wind and earth based armors. You're gonna have a lot of damage on him and it's gonna be an easy time for you. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what the advantages on the elemental advantages chart looks like and is saying to us today uh, so basically uh, let's see what I got here so I don't really have a wind and earth base so I'm pretty much just branching off of what I could beat him by with uh, the 50 plus and uh, so far I've been using the Arbor Steel Vanguard epic armor here for because uh, it's, it's an earth based uh, earth based armor so that's pretty much you know 50% of the attack uh, attack damage uh, that I that I give to him, and of course adding to your adding to your place, adding more knights into your party uh, for more epic energy. Of course, is going to give you a damage boost of plus 50%, even more damage. So that's pretty cool as usual. And of course, you can always hire your friends, stuff like that. Uh, for right now, I don't think I'm going to be needing three guys. Honestly, I think you know what I'm going to do. Let's see here. No, I can't do that because I think the Arbor Steel Vanguard is on his uh, is on my main knight as of right now. So I don't think anything else can come with me. I don't think anyone else can come with me except the Siberia. I'm pretty much just gonna be having the Siberia next to me uh, for the extra 25% boost in damage. Uh, with my with my stats over here, we should be able to fight him. So let's go ahead and fight him for 5 Epic Energy. Let's see. I'll show you guys what this guy is all about. This is what it looks like in the battle scene. So there we go. So he's doing 21 damage to me. I'm doing 511 with my 75% uh, uh, damage boost. Right? 25% and 50% because I have one of his elements that he's weak against. And looks like actually he's going to take me down here. I don't know. Alright. That's fine here. I'm going to go ahead and speed him up. That's what his... Um, What's it called? That's what his uh, special attack looks like. And of course, if we can't get him today, that's totally fine. I can probably uh, just go ahead and use up the uh, use up my rest of three epic energies. But I think we're gonna get him. I honestly think we're gonna get him. Okay, there we go. So we pretty much took him out. Uh, kind of a close call, but and we ended up also getting uh, two potions that restored 100 HP. So that was nice of the guy to uh, nice of the uh, the Vermex to drop. So there we go. So pretty much I need, uh, and there's, there's what his leggings look like. The centipede leggings used to craft legendary air, water, element, armor. And uh, looks like I need four more victories, guys. Four more victories until I can get that craftable armor. I'm going to try my best uh, to go ahead and do that. Every single time, uh, with every single time you go ahead and fight the, uh, the epic bosses, you can go ahead and hire some friends to help you out too. That's really a good time to do. Uh, let's see. So I got some friends here. I joined the guild called uh, Florida, and here's just some of the guys that are on my friends list that I got. It's pretty cool. I was pretty surprised that a level 186 guy would uh, try, you know, get me on his friends list, and a level 103 guy, uh, 78 and 77. So I got some pretty powerful friends. They're definitely gonna help me out when I go and face the uh, the epic boss on the uh, probably on the 15th try. Uh, but definitely, I'm probably definitely gonna end up getting the epic armor. Uh, but that's pretty much what you get and what this boss is all about, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's review of uh, this week's epic boss, the Vermex. So like I said, guys, March 26th to April 2nd, go ahead, pick up the Nemesis armor if you have to. Or go ahead and invite some friends to your friends list who does have the Nemesis armor. There's always a good time and easier, much easier effort uh, in order to uh, definitely defeat the boss. Uh, go ahead and pick up the Vermex plate mail if you got it. Go ahead and get the plus versions if you want that green colossus. Scopic Armor Plus, and uh, yeah, so like I said guys, go ahead, 
defeat the Vermex, kick his ass, you know, show him who's boss, get that armor, and have a great time in Knights and Dragons. And anyways, guys, subscribe to become part of the Easy Clan today, and make sure to have a very easy day. And this has been the One Man Army Mysteries. Life, and I'm out. Peace.